Hi there, welcome. Today we're going to talk about the home screen, the initial screen in Adobe Illustrator application. When you launch Adobe Illustrator, it shows the home screen. This is the home screen and it has the following information. It has tutorials for you to learn, the learn option. It has your cloud documents. This came in the last version of Illustrator. I think it was 24.1 or 24.2. It also has the option for deleted documents in the Adobe Illustrator. It has also the options for creating a new document. And also you can open existing documents in your computer. Here you have access to the recent documents that you have used. Also, you can build using presets in Adobe Illustrator. If you click here in more presets, you will have access to several presets established in Adobe Illustrator. You can see the recent presets that you have used. For example, my last preset was a customized preset which had uh, 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Each preset has a specific configuration. Depending on your goal, you can choose a specific preset or you can customize an existing one. On the top of this screen, you can choose the recent ones, the saved, the mobile, the web, printing presets, filming and video presets, and art and illumination. On the right side of the screen, you can see the presets details. Depending on the option you choose here, it will change the configurations. For example, if you choose print, automatically it will choose the color mode CMYK. But if you want, you can change it as well. The worry, we'll have a specific section on this course to talk about RGB, CMYK and HSB. There are all types of color modes that we'll see later on. So, while creating a document in Illustrator, instead of beginning with a blank canvas, you can choose from a wide variety of templates. They're all here, and you can go to Adobe Stocks and get even more. Templates include assets and illustrations that you can use and build on your project. When you open a template in Illustrator, you can work with it just as you would work with any other document in Illustrator. And here are the templates that I'm talking about. There are several of them. You can even go to Adobe Stock and find other templates to use. Some of them are paid and others are available with your Creative Cloud account. These templates, they provide inspiration and reusable content for your documents. Going to the presets that are on top, I'm going to choose, for example, um, web, and I'm going to change it. I can change it, the presets here, and I'll just say Davi presets. And I'll choose 512 by 512 pixels. Have you seen that I've changed the width and the height? When I do that, it stops being a web preset and it becomes my own preset. I can choose pixels, points, inches, feet, all of these options to define the width and the height of my preset. It's really easy. Below, you can choose the orientation you want. I made a square preset, so it doesn't really matter if I choose horizontally or vertically. On the right, we have the artboards, the number of pages that we want. I'm going to talk about artboards later on. Leave it at one for now. Below, we have the bleed options. These are commonly used depending on the printer that you're going to use. So, the bleed options are commonly used here on printing presets. And depending on the printer, you can choose to bleed more or less. Below, we have the color mode, which can be RGB or CMYK. Below, we have the hustler effects. Don't worry, if you want, you can change this later on in your art. 
and the preview mode. By pixels or overprint, just leave it as default. If you use the scroll bar, you can click on more settings and even get even more details of your document. I'm just going to press on create a document for now. There you go. We have just created a document with a specific preset. In the next class, we're going to talk about the workspace. I hope you enjoyed this class. I'll see you next time.